tap on the settings scroll down until you see contacts select contacts select accounts tap on add account and then select google enter the email id of your google account then tap on next enter your password and tap on next here you will get a message saying ios wants to access your google account as you can see in here your iphone which is ios would be able to access your gmail your contacts and your calendar that means you would be able to use this iphone to delete and edit your emails contacts and calendar of your google account so if you're happy then tap on allow if you don't want to share your google accounts mail contacts or calendars then you can uncheck them here and once you're happy tap on save and we have managed to add the google account to our iphone now if you go to your contacts app you should be able to see all your google contacts are added to your iphone now if you would tap on lists you could see how many of your contacts are saved on iCloud out and how many are saved on your gmail the one that we have just imported if you would select all contacts you should be able to see in this list all of your contacts from various different accounts now you would be able to use your mail app to access your gmails some of the features of the mail app tap continue mail app has got this privacy protection which in effect hides your ip address so why not to select select protect mail activity and then tap on continue here it is now you would be able to see all your gmails from your mails app in this way you would be able to also compose new emails of your gmail account from the mail app likewise if you would open the calendar app you should be able to see all the saved events of your google calendar onto your ios calendar so you won't need gmail app or google calendar app on your iphone anymore and in the future if you want to switch to an android phone it would be much easier since you continued using your google account on your iphone